Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure to go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, welcome to Lovely News Network. I wanted to come on here and talk about the case of John Allen Show. So basically he's an American missionary and um, he went to the Sentinel Island to convert the damn natives into Christianity. He wanted to spread the word of God. He wanted to, you know, make them Christians and, and, and help them figure out their lives. Well, these people, um, it's a to go on their island it's illegal to go there they are literally cut off from the world they don't deal with outsiders they've been living in their little bubble for hundreds and hundreds of years without you know the invasion of the white man or an invasion of americans and so like i said it's illegal to go there and this man thought that for some reason he was going to go there preach the word convert these people to christianity basically tame the savages and then he would come out you know a hero of sorts and what happened is that as soon as his ass stepped foot off the boat all of a sudden he got attacked with numerous bows and arrows and he was killed instantly so this entire situation is a hot damn mess honey go ahead and check out this news clip i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary the family of an american missionary killed by a remote tribe is trying to get his body returned authorities say john allen chow was killed when members of the tribe shot arrows at him they say he paid local fishermen more than $300 to bring him to North Sentinel Island, which lies between India and Myanmar. He was reportedly trying to make contact with the indigenous Sentinelese tribe, which resists contact with the rest of the world. The government of India has made the island off limits to visitors. Chow reportedly wanted to introduce the tribe to Christianity, and police say fishermen reported that they watched as his body was dragged off the beach and buried. Police are consulting with experts and anthropologists to figure out the best way to recover his remains. Seven people were arrested for helping him reach the island. Chow's family asked for their release on an Instagram post, saying he ventured out on his own free will. They added he had nothing but love for the Sentinelese tribe, and they forgive those who are responsible for his death. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano. Honey. Now, if this isn't a case of I told you so, but damn it, we told you so, okay? Now, they're saying that they're going to prosecute the guys who took him to that island because these guys knew better. And I get prosecuting them, but I'm sure this man offered to pay them a lot of money and persuaded them to take him there. And at the end of the day, this is on this man. He knew better than to go to that island. He knew better than to go across the natives there. But because his ego was bigger than the damn Indian Ocean, he thought that he knew better than the people who were telling him to stay off that island. And I think that's the saddest part of this. These people have been living on that island for years, taking care of themselves, sticking to their traditions. It was not his right or his job to go there and try and convert them to Christianity, okay? So I believe that this man did this for attention. Maybe he wanted to be seen as a martyr. He was posting a lot of stuff on social media saying you know if I die it's okay you know this is for God so like I said I definitely feel like he knew what he was doing and I have been waiting for more information to come up about this story see what the government was going to do if they were going to go and retrieve his body what was going to happen so now as of today there's been two updates and one of the updates says that this man planned for years to go to this remote island so this was just not by happenstance he had been planning to convert this remote tribe for years they're stating that he basically harbored a deadly obsession with this remote island in India um, ever since he first read about it as a teenager and he spent years planning and training to travel illegally to this remote North Sentinelese island on a mission to convert the residents into Christianity, including learning emergency medicine, studying linguistics, cultural anthropology. His mission group said even though he knew the islanders had long violently resisted outsiders, he conducted a covert mission to the protected island this month. The police said shortly after he arrived on the island, the tribe killed him. Indian authorities have yet to recover his body. So that's what they're saying. And his last entry into his journal was what he was saying, God, I don't want to die. Then he says, you know, if he dies, who will take his place? 
So basically this man has been planning this for years. Now some more information came out from the Indian paper and they're saying that India has no plans to recover the body of the U.S. missionary killed by the tribe. So what's been reported is that an anthropologist involved in the case told the Guardian, authorities have concluded that for now it's impossible to retrieve the remains of Chow without provoking further conflict with the Sentinelese, the small tribe who populate the North Sentinelese Island. We have decided not to disturb the Sentinelese, said the anthropologist, who acts not to be named. We have not tried to contact them for the past many days and have decided not to continue trying. He said it's been determined that any further efforts to retrieve Charles' body carried an unacceptable high possibility of clash between the outsider and the Sentinelese. We do not want to hamper their sediments. They shoot arrows at any invaders. That's their message saying don't come on our island and we respect this. So there you have it, folks. They're not going to go retrieve his body, and this man has been planning this for a long time. So basically, it seems like, you know, he got his wish, and he got to go onto the island, meet the people, and also meet Jesus while he was at it. I'm just saying. So I feel like he knew what he was doing. He knew that this would happen to him. He wanted to look like a martyr. He wanted to look like a good Christian. And sometimes when you go chasing death, shocker, sometimes death arrives at your damn doorstep, okay? So I don't feel bad for this man, okay? It's messed up that he died, but I don't feel bad for him because he put himself in that situation. These people didn't ask to be converted. They didn't ask you to teach them about Christianity. And my thing is, he doesn't even speak the same language as these native people. Most people don't even know these people's languages. So how are you going to convert them? How are you going to convert them and talk to them how are you going to let them know about Jesus Christ and and God and things like that there is no possible way that this man could have converted these people he basically did all this stuff being an attention whore and like I said I won't shed not one tattoo tear on his behalf because when you play stupid games you damn sure win stupid prizes okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning the missionary who went to a remote island only to be killed by the tribesmen that he was supposedly trying to convert into to Christianity. So let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.